Now then, how are you doing? Well, I hope you're well. Welcome to the second part of a project that started out with a walk from the village of Malham in the Yorkshire Dales. Well, my walk took me along Malham Beck to the limestone pavement above the cove. From there, the route took me to Gordale and yet another beck. Here's what I discovered there. This is Janet's Foss, a waterfall just outside the village of Malham in the Yorkshire Dales, downstream from one of the area's most dramatic locations, Gordale and Gordale Scar. J. M. W. Turner sketched and painted Gordale's scar in 1808. Five years later, James Ward immortalised it on a sheet of canvas 10.9 feet high by 13.8 feet wide, which now graces the walls of the National Gallery in London. I love Gordale Scar and have painted it many times before. Today, however, it isn't the sheer sides of the rocky canyon that has mostly taken my eye. As I head back down the dale towards Malham, it is the small, inconspicuous looking Gordale Beck that attracts my attention most of all. Like the keen eyes of the kestrel hovering some way above my head, my own eyes were looking at the beck and considering its possibilities as a potential painting subject. Earlier in the day, I had looked at Malham Beck in the same way. While grander things may be dominating a scene, it is always worth refining our scrutiny and looking a little closer at the lesser elements within a landscape. Sometimes that may mean looking at a location from a slightly different viewpoint, or let's be honest, it may indeed mean getting my feet wet. On this occasion, Gordale Beck had captured my imagination, and as I got closer to the little waterfalls dotted along its length, I knew that I had found my next subject. I've long been fascinated by the idea of finding lesser known subjects in the shadow of greater ones. Well, that isn't because I feel any particular compulsion to shun the popular pot boilers, but because I just happen to believe there's a wealth of untapped, fresh subject matter out there just waiting to be discovered. All you have to do is look for it. shadow tells us as much about the surface it's falling upon as the object that is casting it. Simply put, if we make a shadow appear as a straight line, then the message we're sending out is that the surface upon which it is falling is flat. Well, by curving those brush marks, then the message we send out is that the surface is in fact curved we must always bear in mind where our light is coming from and make sure that our shadows remain consistent with that light source. We do generally have quite a bit of leeway when it comes to distributing shadows. 
While it is possible to predict with some precision how they are likely to fall within a scene, it's equally important to remember that we can manipulate them and use them to our advantage. And if that means engineering our light and shadows a little in order to achieve that, then so be it. Painting white water with any degree of success is as much about what you don't put in as what you do. The saying, less is more, is somewhat overused, but remains relevant and correct all the same. With a waterfall like this one, a balance has to be achieved. I need to apply brush marks that explain shape and movement, of course, but it is also important not to overwork those brush marks. To put it another way, if you apply too much detail, then it can start to look overly busy, cluttered. Too many details can also start to reduce the impact of the water. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, and I must say, a visit to Gordale never disappoints. I should also say that this video has just been a sample of a much longer version. If you're interested in viewing the full, uncut, non-time-lapsed version of this watercolour demonstration, complete with commentary and step-by-step -step notes, then there are now two ways to go about it you sign up as a member of my YouTube channel for only £8.99 a month, you'll get exclusive access to the full version of this video, along with downloadable notes on how to paint it yourself. But to sign up, simply hit the join button below this video. Alternatively, a subscription to my online tuition service for only £9 a month will give you access to this and hundreds of other similar projects, complete with extensive notes and additional resources. There are several fully curated courses available, along with an upgrade option if you're looking for private one-to-one -one tuition. Either way, it would be great to welcome you into the fold. If you're new to my channel, please do hit the like button and perhaps subscribe to get notifications of new videos as and when I post them. Until next time, take care.